Hi, this is Brad Bielon from eat.beat.com giving you another tip for helping you understand weight loss research. One of the most important parts of weight loss research is estimating how many calories a person eats, specifically the subjects in the study. Now, it's very important you to remember this is always just an estimate or a guideline. Uh, measuring calories is in fact very tricky. Using chocolate chip muffins as an example, we'd all agree that this is a large muffin, and we'd all agree that this is a small muffin. But to give you an idea, which one is bigger or smaller out of these two? It becomes very difficult to kind of guess where they're placed. According to the website fitday.com, a small muffin would have about 200 calories, a medium about 350, and a large close to 500. Now, according to the website from these people, this is a 500 calorie muffin, making this one a monstrosity of a muffin that we're not exactly sure how many calories are in it. But if you were to compare using software like Fitday, you might consider this large and this small, estimating this at 350 calories, when in fact, it's closer to 500. The important thing to remember is that in any weight loss research, these are just guidelines. We know from clinical research that in weight loss studies, most people either over or under report the amount of calories they eat by as much as 30%. So when reviewing weight loss research, just use the calories of the participants as a guideline, because you can never really truly know how much someone's eating. We're just not there yet in terms of science. So a tip for me on how to read, understand weight loss research is use the calories as a guideline. They're not 100% accurate. Brad Peel on and that's your tip for today.